Hi everyone, this is Sabrina. I'm here with um, a Faithful Friday. Sorry, my phone was going off. With a Faithful Friday um, scripture and, um, and a devotion. This morning as I was praying about whether or not to do the video today, um, you know, I try to do them as regularly as, as possible and um, sometimes I'm unable to just because there's too much going on or if I can't do it early I try to put it up later in the day but um, you know I was debating whether or not to do the video at all this morning <coughs> excuse me and as I was praying about it this is what came to mind my my husband and I try to be vessels of the Holy Spirit when we speak to each other and I'm not saying you know not all the time it doesn't happen all the time but when we're discussing certain things or certain topics we try to be mindful of letting the Holy Spirit lead us um, as we speak to each other and we know that um, if anything we say is not aligned with the Word of God that it's it's probably just our own thoughts or our own feelings or our own perspective on whatever the topic is um, and long ago I told my husband that um, let me preface that by saying that my, my husband has a gift of speaking to people and, and motivating people. He can break down concepts and ideas in such a way to make it just very easy to understand and to, to grasp. And um, as a teacher and an administrator and as a speaker, you know, he comes into contact with many students, with many people. And, you know, it's sometimes it seems like the point should be about reaching more people, but that's not always the case. And long ago, I told him that he doesn't know that one child, that one person that he pours into, he doesn't know what that person is going to, how great that person is going to go on to become or what they're going to do. And we heard a, a pastor speak one time, and I can't remember the whole story, I don't want to babble on forever, but the gist of the story was that there, there was a person that, it was a great person, right, this, this person was like a great leader. And when they were discussing it, that leader talked about the, the two parents that he had. I think somebody had adopted him. And had he not been adopted, he wouldn't have been able to, to go on and do the things that he did. Well, then those two people went on to talk about the one, that person that had invited them to church. And then that one person, you know, went on to speak about his mother and how his mother had poured into him. And the point of the story really was, it's the one, it was that one person, you know, that took the time to pour into them and it just kept developing, developing, develop, developing. And then it ended with the story of this person who became like this great leader. And um, what's funny is that recently, I don't know that my husband remembers me saying that to him because it was very strong in my heart that he would recognize it's not always about the groups of people that he speaks to, but about that one, you know, that one individual that goes on to do something great. And recently he's been saying the same thing to me. You know, he's been consistently telling me it's about that one. It's about that one. As I was thinking about that, I started thinking about, um, you know, I try, I go, I read about YouTube and I've been trying to learn on the Creator Studio in YouTube. Um, for me, I'm just trying to, I guess, upload a better quality video as efficiently and as easy as possible. I don't need any extra stress or frustration in the process. So I'm just trying to learn, you know, just the little things about lighting, about, you know, a work surface or a workspace and, you know, the best what I can do to help my internet just these little things so that I can just put up a, a better looking video as quickly and as easily as possible and as I'm as I'm reading and I'm trying to learn um, I, it's oftentimes people are always talking about the numbers and whether it's YouTube or Instagram or Facebook or Pinterest or Twitter like any social social media platform, it's always about the numbers and the subscribers and more pins and more likes and more followers. And as I was thinking about this, the thought struck me that Jesus, he only had 12 followers and one of those was a traitor. So 
you know, as I'm as I'm thinking about this, I'm thinking about these followers and these followers of Jesus when they were empowered, empowered by God's Holy Spirit, they have spread the gospel of Jesus Christ to the point that over 2000 years later, this gospel is still being spread throughout the world. And all of this to say is that I felt God telling me as I was thinking about, ah, eh, I'm not going to do it this morning. Um, he was telling me it's about that one. It's about that one. It's about that one that needs his word, that needs his love. It's about that one that needs his comfort. It's about that one that needs his son. It's about that one that needs his encouragement today. So, here I am. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on one second. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and read one of the devotions. You know, I read every day. And it doesn't always have a theme. There's not always a theme. And for me, it's it's different things that touch me throughout the day. Um, but I'm going to read the devotion um, from February 13th, which I think was Wednesday. And it's out of the Max Licato, God is with you every day, 365 day devotional. So it says everything you need. The scripture is Psalm 16:8. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. You are fully equipped. Need more energy? You have it. More kindness? It's yours. Could you use some self-control, self-discipline, or self-confidence? God will equip you with all you need for doing his will. Hebrews 13, 21. Just press the gas pedal. God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. 2 Peter 1 and 3. And that life begins with a paradigm shift. Like Joshua and the Israelites marching into Canaan, Canaan, you do not fight for victory, you fight from victory. In the wilderness you strive, in Canaan you trust. In the wilderness you seek God's attention, in Canaan you already have God's favor. In the wilderness you doubt your salvation, in Canaan you know you are saved. You move from wanting to have to believing you already do. So, we are part of the new covenant because Jesus has already come. He's died on the cross. He's risen again. We are part of the new covenant and we already have everything that we need. Um, there were a couple of other scriptures that I, um, that I read this morning. And I wasn't going to read this, but I, I think it's applicable in Habakkuk. Habakkuk 3 17 and 19 though the fig tree may not blossom nor fruit be on the vines though the labor of the olive may fail and the fields yield no food though the flock may be cut off from the fold and there be no herd in the stalls yet I will rejoice in the Lord I will joy in the God of my salvation the Lord God is my strength he will make my feet like deer's feet and he will make me walk on my high hills to the chief musician with my stringed instruments he's there he is always there he is always with us we are not going through our trials and tribulations um, on our own um, I'm gonna go ahead as I as I was praying and I was you know thinking about what to speak about and what scriptures to give I'm gonna make sure that I put these scriptures in the description box below but um, I'm going to end with this. In Ephesians 3, Paul is he's writing the letter to the Ephesians. And um, at the end of the chapter, it, he says, For this reason I, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named. So he's bowing his knees. And essentially what he's saying is that this is what I'm praying for you guys. And as I'm reading this... Um, I pray this for whoever watches this Faithful Friday today. And I'm just, I'm going to read this, and this is my prayer for you today. And he's, he's talking, you know, this is his prayer to God. That he, God, would grant you according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might through his spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the width, 
and length and depth and height to know the love of Christ which passes knowledge that you may be filled with all the fullness of God now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever amen and I pray that for you today and whoever is that one or two or three that needed this today I pray that you are filled with the knowledge of the love of Jesus Christ for you I pray that he is with you today and each day throughout this week um, that you're encouraged that you're encouraged and that you are comforted by his word I thank you guys so much for watching I thank you for your comments your comments they don't just encourage me they encourage everybody else who reads them um, know that you're in my prayers again I thank you for watching um, if you if you think that this might help somebody else feel free to share it or just talk about it talk about the scripture today with um, with somebody else um, again thank you for watching have a wonderful, wonderful day. God bless, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.